Here we're going to take a look at how we can get roof trusses into our drawings fantastically quickly using Caddy 16's new AEC roof truss tools. And of course, being AEC objects, they also section uh, onto our, our drawings to make 2D details as well. So here we are, we have the AEC truss dialog open, and uh, we can see behind it the, uh, the result of using the, the tool, and we'll see how that figures in later. But uh, let's just have a quick tour around the dialog box. So we have our truss type, and you'll see we have 12 different styles of truss, so all the different profiles that you could wish to have within your drawing. As we toggle through them, you'll notice that they all have the little markers on there, showing you how to set, or where to set, the the different thicknesses for all the members within our drawing. So coming down, we can see there's a complete range of the, the trusses there. We have the, the span, which we can do by picking from our drawing or typing in uh, here. We have the, uh, the, the pitch, which increments in two and a half degrees. And we have uh, a thickness, so that's the front to back uh, distance on the, uh, the truss itself and then various other properties covered by more so if we're wanting to define our truss absolutely that's exactly what we can do. You also notice within the dialog there that we have the ability to create an entire run of roof trusses, our, our row there and at the centres and also an end offset so looking at our, our roof here we have a standard 600 spacing set but then the, the last truss is introduced before that uh, to accommodate the wall and the 352 here I've actually set it from the external face so that's inset it, inserting the first truss and the last truss inside the building to that degree. We'll also take a look at how we can derive our two-dimensional drawing information, our section including uh, our detail there of the truss. So here we have our starting point, our, our basic building, and what we're going to do is introduce the roof truss uh, on, onto the walls. We can see here that we have our, our UCS indicated by a grid. Now that's set from the model space setup, and I have the display grid set to a meter, just so that I can very easily and quickly see exactly where my working plane is. Now, we're going to raise that working plane to the top of the walls there and we can do that with the 3D tools, UCS, offset, either pick, picking from our drawing or setting it at 2600 here and you can see that our working plane has moved up. Moving into a top view here we can see that we have three little markers, construction points which I'm going to use to, to snap to but it just illustrates the points we're picking here on our drawing. So we have the, the span but then projected onto the external wall and likewise on the other two corners. So let's go for our truss tool. The AEC truss, we have our, our truss type, we have our span. If we want to, to choose a different span, we can pick it from the drawing and say, I have a couple of construction points that I can use for that. So I'm just going to pick the span from the drawing and you can see that gets entered into the uh, the box there. We have our pitch and these are incremented at uh, two and a half degrees. We have the overhang so it will oversail our, our, our span by by the, the amount we uh, specify and we've got a 600 spacing and I'm going to create the row. The construction points there just to lock on to those and then we'll indicate the end of the run of our roof trusses and we can see instantly that it's offset the trusses inside of our external walls. Tilting up doing a 3D orbit we'll see that we now have the roof trusses there within our design. In order to create a, a section, a 2D section of this, going back to a top view we could choose our AEC tools and the sectioning tools there, a vertical section and we'll choose to draw a section through here just using the tab key to hold vertical right click option end we're looking in that direction and we'll put our, our section here and there is our, our 2D section complete with detail. One further thing that we can do with the roof trusses is actually change them for different profiles. 
the roof trusses are subject to a profile definition so if we have created another roof truss within our drawing and say we want to uh, exchange the one for the other if I just select my roof trusses here I'll just use object properties and then filter down on the the objects which are our roof trusses here we'll see that we have the profile now if I change it to an attic truss and that's how easy it is to change roof truss profiles within Caddy. So you see that by using Caddy 16's AEC tools you can not only create your models, your roof truss layouts, you can also section them too.